Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave, and look at this stunning card that I have to share with you tonight. It's so beautiful and really easy to put together. I'm using Stampin' Up's Stampin' Blends because you know those are my favorite. I can't stop using them. They're so easy to use, and they create such gorgeous, vibrant, professional-looking images. We're also going to combine with that our um, music sheet or sheet music background stamp, which is a really fun background stamp, which I'm just <laughs> pulling out of my cabinet here, um, to create a really subtle background in here, but I think is very beautiful. All right, to make this card, I'm going to start with some Whisper White cardstock, and I will stamp my large flower image. Now this comes from the Beautiful Day stamp set, which has the beautiful um, butterfly along with this flower image and then some little kind of backgroundy flowers. We'll stamp that in Memento ink onto the bottom of our card. And then we're... Okay, so I've got it on here like that. Give it a good press because this is a large stamp. There we go. Looks fantastic. Next, what I'm going to do is I actually stamped this on a post-it note and I cut it out like so. And I went just a hair inside the lines. Okay, so I'm going to mask off the rest of my card so that I can stamp this background stamp in the background. Okay, now I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock just to protect my work surface a little bit. Now to do this, I will ink this up in crumb cake ink, and then I'm also going to stamp a layer of that ink off so it's not so dark. So I get a nice light background. So I've got good coverage on here, making sure I get ink everywhere. Stamp this down. Okay, so I've gotten rid of a layer of ink and then I'm going to place this right over the top. Now to get a good impression, I'll use just a clear block. I like to call this my rubber. Just go over the whole piece and lift that up. And then you can see I have a nice subtle background. And then when I pull this off, there's no background over my flower. So I can go ahead and color it and it will still be beautiful. Okay, so for the coloring, <clears throat> I'm combining um, the Calypso Coral and Pink Pirouette Stampin' Blends. So let me pardon my reach as I pull these out. And then, of course, my Old Olive. So I love this color combination because um, it creates such a beautiful look and there's a lot of shading that will be going on here. So let's start out easy. I'm going to pull my old olive. I'm just going to color towards the center um, in my darker shade of my leaf. And then I'll add the lighter shade on top. I'll really blend that in. And we've got these big thick lines so They're easy to work with, okay? Perfect. Next, um, I'm gonna start with my darkest color and stick close to the interior of each petal. And then I will go lighter as we go out. So I'll kind of follow the edge, the inside edge of the interior of each petal and then as we go out, it will get lighter and lighter. And you can kind of gauge how you want this to look um, based on your preference, because these kind of do curl around a little bit. And I think every time I do this, I get a little different look. Now, one area I'm gonna cover pretty dark is this spot right here because that's kind of like it's curling back on itself. So naturally we want that a little darker. Now 
I'm going to work with just that much. I probably could have done a little bit less, but that's okay. Now I'll come back over this with my lighter shade of Calypso Coral. And I'm going to blend these colors. Keeping in mind that I will come back with lighter and lighter colors. I find often when I'm coloring a lot, like a, a big gradation of color, that it helps to stay on the light side, meaning I don't use a ton of the darkest color at first, which gives me room to get all the light shades in. All right, well, I've got one more little spot here. And then we're gonna come, we're gonna switch colors into the pink pirouette. Now sometimes when you switch colors, it can look a little muddy. So we're gonna be a little careful of that. It depends on the color combo you're going for. So here I'm just adding my next color on here. And this is looking pretty good. So I'm careful not to go over I want to go over the border between the two, but I don't want to go over the whole thing. Now, the nice thing is if I mess this up, I can come back in with my darkest color again and make sure that color is seen on here. All right. And then last but not least, my lightest shade of pink pirouette. And you can see you really get just such a beautiful shaded look and lots of contrast amongst each of these petals, which I think makes for such a striking card. Okay, so I'm going to continue on following this pattern for the rest of the flower, but I'm going to speed up the process so that you can see the whole thing and not wait forever. So I'll start over and keep going. Okay, so I think I've got my coloring done now. I'm gonna come back and just highlight a couple little spots to really get that dark edge in there so beautifully, just to kind of highlight a little more. And then, and you can kind of keep doing this indefinitely if you're not careful, but I just wanted to add a little bit more highlights in a few spots where sometimes you over blend and then you don't see that original color as much so that I think that just adds you know it kind of punches up the color a little all right I'm also going to take and add to the center of this the lighter of the two um, cherry cobbler colors just to put a nice dark center into this flower and you know what? I scratched that. That's actually the darker that I want, not the lighter. The darker, I apologize. Because that will really make it nice and dark. There, that's much better. Okay, so there we go. Now, to finish off our card, a couple things. First off, I'm going to take, I've got a layer of 
Calypso Coral cardstock. And to set it off of my cardstock base, I'm going to rub it across my cardstock, just the ink pad. And just really lightly, ooh, that was a little too much, more than I wanted. So I can actually use the back side. So I think I'm going to be a little more careful as I draw it across here. I just literally want the very edge of my cardstock to just have a little teeny bit of color. One more side, and that should do it. There we go. That's better. Okay, so that was too much. We flipped it over. Okay, you don't really see it until you put it on the card, and then it sort of just helps that layer kind of pop off from the card base itself. All right, I will attach this to that piece and then tie it up with a pretty bow. And I'm using my Calypso Coral Ombre Ribbon, which is so beautiful. I just kind of recently got into this. I realized I'd had it since the new catalog came out in June and I hadn't really, I don't even think I'd opened it yet, the packet yet. Um, so I thought I had to get crafting with this color and I've been using lots of Calypso Coral with the new Painter's Palette DSP, which obviously is not on this card, but it's such a beautiful color. I've uh, just recently completed the sure do love you online class and we used a lot of that paper in that class all right so i've got my bow tied on here and then i will pop this up onto my card but before i do that i want to do one more thing sorry about that i want to stamp my sentiment so i have a scrap of white this is just from trimming down my cardstock i'm going to stamp the sentiment this is in that same stamp set beautiful day and it just says, always thinking of you. And I think this is such a nice sentiment for uh, just sending to a person you haven't maybe talked to in a while or seen. I know exactly who I'm sending this card to, my good friend who's going through a rough patch. So um, I think this is such a nice sentiment to send to somebody like that. Also, um, if you are on my Stamping with the Creativity Cave Facebook group, we have a rack list that you can sign up for, and that's a random act of kindness. And we just send cards to people who want cards, and they send cards to us. It's a lot of fun. So check that out. One of my really good friends and helpers, Kelly, has been coordinating that for us, and it's so nice. We share the cards that we get in the mail with one another, and it's just lovely. To have your day brightened with a card like that. Who doesn't love cards in their mailbox? All right, so I've got this attached to my card, and that's it. That's all there is to it. So all the details can be found on my blog. The link is in the description of this video. And of course, if you need to purchase any of these items, I would so appreciate it if you would order through my online store. Of course, when you do, you'll become a Creativity K VIP, and I've got all kinds of fantastic perks, including exclusive content on our fantastic uh, Facebook page that is just for VIP members and all you have to do to become a VIP is place an order through my online store. So thanks guys. Happy stamping. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.